G'day, wallaby dick. <laughs> I thought you weren't going to say it. I wasn't. Welcome to another episode of Tazcast Fishing Adventures. The fishing has been a little bit mediocre the last couple of weeks, so uh, as you can tell, it's raining on us, but we're going to get into some cooking, a little bit of popcorn flathead. Stay tuned and cue the montage from our terrible fishing trips. <laughs> continental shelf. Not looking good. We're battling about two meters swell at the moment. So I think what we're going to do is go south of shooting, try and seek some refuge and maybe do some flatty bashing. We've got the tuna rods out. We've got a nice big spread happening. What are we running here, Alex? So here we have some flathead that we caught last week in Coles Bay. Um, we're going to cook up for a little appetizer. Maybe we might try some of the beautiful Marion's Vineyard wine. Are you sure you got it from Coles Bay and not Coles? Mmm, okay, busted. I did. I got it from Coles. You're like, okay, I got this fish from down Coles. <laughs> I got oh, it from Coles. Bay, not the shop. Yeah, but you can be my Coles Bay. Oh, thanks, bud. <laughs> first things first, with this flathead, we're going to aim for some small little slices. We're going to grab some egg. Whisk chicken, it. Chicken eggs, are they? Chicken eggs, yep. Put it into the flour. 
then dip it in egg, and then breadcrumbs, and then we're going to uh, lightly fry it. Yum! We've got our beautiful little pieces, so we're going to go ahead and let this cook, and um, we'll um, come back to you. So growing up here on the Tamar, you would have done a fair bit of fishing, right? Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. When was the last time you had a rod in down behind us? Uh, it's been a while. I'm teaching my nephews how to fish. We don't really get any good sized fish off the jetty because uh, it's really shallow. Yeah. I assume like you'd get schools of mullet and things coming Yeah, we get a few by. mullet, you know, you get a bit of burley in there. You can catch a feed of mullet in uh, on the outgoing tide. Yeah. And what's the best way to eat mullet? I like a smoked mullet. Smoked mullet. I have tried some smoked mullet with you before and it is delightful. So we have quite a nice sizzle going now. That's good. It's uh, getting nice and golden brown with our batter. Um. Now, Nick, I would love to try this beautiful Pinot Noir. Um, this is a 2016 batch. Yeah. yeah, wow, a lot has happened since then. A global pandemic yeah, and all sorts. Like that's the good old days, 2016. Mm. Go, Let's give this a whirl. So what can you tell me about this Pinot? Oh, it's made from the grapes of the uh, Pinot Noir vine. It's uh, super delicious. I like a lot of forward fruit characters. Mm -hmm. Got some spiciness in there. A bit of spice, yeah. I will be okay, honest, yeah. it, is, uh, it is my favourite drop from, uh, from Marion's Vineyard. There's a reason I brought out Pinot Noir for you. <laughs> it's, it's how much you love it. it is sensational. It's a very fine-tuned recipe. Um, so the cellar door that is here at Marion's Vineyard, when is that open for people to come and try oh, this for themselves? It's been open every single day since 1983. We don't close on Christmas. Really? We don't close on wow. Kwanzaa. We're open all the time, buddy. That's From, dedication. Uh, 11 till 5 every day. You get to meet Marion herself. She'll come out and cool. taste the wines. So Marion's still working in the cellar door? You can't stop her. You can't stop her. She's a bit of a weapon. She loves it. How about um, we give away a bottle of wine to one lucky viewer? from Marion's Vineyard, and all you have to do is comment below your favorite way to cook flathead. Comment below and uh, you could have the opportunity to try some of this fine wine. We did a couple of giveaways over the last few videos, the Tazcast videos, so the winners of those have been alerted in the comments. Um, I will put up the winners right now on screen. We will be in touch with you to send your jig and also your little hard body trout lure to you. So, congratulations. How about that one? Mm, yummy little lemon. <laughs> now this is plating up very nicely. I'm super amped up about eating this flathead, Tim. Mm. Okay, well that's good. This is my excited face. <laughs> flathead! So, uh, I usually just dip it with a little bit of koopy. No bones, so you can just smash it. The question is, for me, if if it's smashable, and... Oh, how is that flathead, dude? Mm, that is smashable. Totally. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> Not again. I can't eat flathead. Can I'm you? bad at eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wipe my mouth. Oh my god, that's so good. It's pretty nice. All right. A little bit of a dip. Well, you're not going to like the mayo. Mm. How about less mayo and some lemon? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. After all, I am Greek. That's true. <laughs> I should still have a little bit of crunchy texture. Mmm. It's lovely and crunchy. Mmm. Very flavorful. Is it smashable? Very smashable. <laughs> it finished a lot in one go. Yeah. Mm. It's not too bad. I really like it. I'm yes. Try it with a bit Delicious. Well, there you go. It started to rain on us. We've had to cover up the camera, but I hope you enjoyed this very mediocre cooking with Tazcast. A big thank you to Pickle Nick. Thank you, everybody. Of Marion's Vineyard. Why are for... you thanking me? Well, yeah, I'm thanking you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you very much for watching this episode, and uh, we'll catch you on the next ones. You know, they used to call me flathead in high school. Why's that? Oh wait, no, they used to call me a <laughs> kid. <laughs>